Welcome to the Naismith video update brought to you by Old Man's Garage. Also brought to you by Cofields Racing Starters. Getting it started since 1974. Also brought to you by Race Products Incorporated. This month on the Naismith video update, we're going to introduce you to Rick Dewberry at Race Products Incorporated down in Five Points, Alabama. And we're also going to recap all the action from Penton Raceway and the OMG East Region Series race. We're going to have the heat races, the feature, post-race commentary. So sit back. Here we go. Hi. My name is Rick Dewberry. I'm the president and owner of uh, Race Products Incorporated, uh, locally known as RPI. We got our start actually probably around mm, 2000, 1999. Uh, where I was told I needed to go to a dirt track and watch a show. And I complied with the guy and enjoyed it. Uh, and kind of brought back some memories from when I was a kid and used to drag race out. Because uh, I asked my wife, I wonder if we could make a living doing this. And so why don't you give it a shot? So in 2002, we incorporated. And uh, by 2004, the building was built and some of the inventory was installed. And then uh, in 2005, we opened for real. So this is what, uh, about our sixth year uh, of Race Products Incorporated. After we began to operate in 2006, or, I'm sorry, 2000 and, uh, uh, about 2005, uh, we installed about, mm, I don't know, three quarters of a million dollars in inventory uh, that services primarily from the hobby cars all the way through super late. Uh, specifically chassis components, the bolt-on accessories and so forth. Uh, we kind of stay away from the motor stuff unless the customer knows what they want uh, because we can fill this whole building of motor parts and still not even have the right stuff. So uh, That's basically what we've done. Uh, we cater to uh, two or three different tracks. Uh, we do have a tractor and trailer that we take uh, track side um, to Talladega Short Track is our home track. We call it our home track. We service Penn and Raceways, which is about 20 minutes from here. And during the state and nationals, uh, we service East Alabama Motor Speedway. And then off season, we travel to Florida, uh, Georgia, Mississippi. We also offer services uh, uh, car setups, we put a lot of bodies on, on cars. We handle sheet metal, we carry it in stock. Body kits, um, uh, the, the, uh, the spring steel that hold the bodies in place. Um, and we, all, we have that here. And we do offer a variety of services from actually assembling them, repairing race cars all the way up to putting bodies on and so forth. Who will start on the pole for tonight's feature? We'll find out. Late models heat races scheduled for six laps. Six laps start right now. And the flying eye of Craig Scott pulls out in front, followed closely by Paul Walters. The 21S Jake Sanders in second, Scott. Paul Walters washes high. That allows the 74 Old Man's Garage car to pull into third spot. Now side by side we go. To the inside is the 21S of Sanders. To the outside, continuing straight and true with the lead, the flying eye of Craig Scott. Craig Reese still sitting in third, coming into turn three and four. The Mitchum's Auto Part 22 car of Taylor Mitchum sitting low and slow in turn three and four. Paul Walters makes that pass, putting him to the fifth place position. Back up in the front, it's the 21S of Sanders battling it out with a flying eye of Craig Scott. Three laps in, halfway in and halfway done. Jake Sanders trying everything to get around the zero of Craig Scott. He spins the tires in turn two, losing momentum. That allows Scott to pull ahead. In the air, white flag. Craig Scott looks to take it from pole to pole. Here he comes out of turn number four, the Noonan Georgia driver in the Team GRT 604 crate motored car is your winner. He'll take the pole for the start of our feature event. For East Region Points Championship rights, 
He got the third place championship last year. He's going for the gold this year. He's got to get around Chase Edge and Dana Island to do it. Here they come. Green flag racing out of turn four. Chase with the advantage into turns one and two. Oh, watch out, Big Daddy. And Dana Island spins it in turn one and two. The driver in the 34 Mason racing car, that's Chad Wallace. Chad with nowhere to go gets into the K9. But it looks like Chad Wallace with no damage on the front of his Audio Trends number 34 machine. Green flag waves right now. Here we go racing. Your Neesmith East Region champion diving into turns one and two first. Followed closely by Dana Island. Dana took a, takes a chunk out of the 18 of Edge. Now it takes it to the outside, up into the marbles of turn three and four. Edge with the advantage. Chase Edge continuing to lead the way down into turns one and two. Dana's going to take a peek on the inside. Decides to hit the binders. Nothing doing that time. Marty Lunsford spins in turn two. It's going to be caution. Caution over the speedway. And so Chase Edge taking a chunk out of the backside of that 18 car as they exited turn number two. Dana Island in his last trap out of their last drivers. One lap in. We're scheduled for six laps in our second of two heat races. Chase Edge in the 18 car leads the way. Dana second. Flying Ryan is third. Chad Wallace fourth. Marty Lunsford fifth as we go green. Oh, and Lunsford spins it out. A whole lot of throttle, a lot of tire spin. And that's two for the whole lot of motor under the hood. And as that young driver grabs the loud pedal, the tires spin, and he spins it out. But as they say, if you're not spinning, you're not trying. Marty Lunsford in the M96. Joins the pack as they exit turn number four. Chase Edge tells him when to go racing. Chase says, boys, let's go racing. Chase Edge. On the loud pedal, following him, Dana Island taking a peek on the inside as Chad Wallace trying to get a run on the 55 of Flying Ryan King. Nothing doing. Turn two bites now. This time, Chad Wallace into turn three and four they go. Where Dana Island down low, up high is Chase Edge. Two laps in. It'll be halfway in and halfway to go next time they pass the grandstands. Chase Edge leads the way, followed by Dana Island. Flying Ryan, whole lot of real estate between the top two cars and our third place follower. And now it's halfway in and halfway done as Chad Wallace, our flag man many nights here at Penton Raceway, he's now racing in fourth spot, trying to take over third from Flying Ryan King. Past the stripe once again, it's still all Chase Edge, last week's winner. Dana Island, the master of going faster. Oh, and side by side they go. Ryan King flies a little too high at turn number two. That allows Chad Wallace to dive down low and steal the spot. At lap number five, Chad Wallace takes over third spot and holds it down. Flying Ryan King shaking. He's trying to get back third place. Doesn't look like it's going to happen in time as checkers fly for Chase Edge. And so your winner, Chase Edge, will start on the front row outside. Outside second row will be Dana Island. Outside third row, Chad Wallace. Outside fourth row, Flying Ryan King. Then it's Marty Lunsford on the fifth row. Fifth row outside, Lunsford in the M96. Starting side by side, it'll be our top runners in qualifying. But let's see if the 18 car can bring home the win. Chase Edge fans, make some noise for your driver as he exits turn number four. We'll get loud here at Penton Raceway. Here comes the Neesmith late model cars. Off and running with the Cameron's Kitchen Flying Zero Machine. Oh, together into the wall they go. The 34 and the 18, the 21S. Caution on the speedway. Several cars getting together. One of those getting into the wall is the 21S of Jake Sanders. He was a favorite to win this event. Raceway. Lights are out. Stage is set. Craig Grice on the loud pedal, and we're racing. And the Cameron's Kitchen car diving into turns one and two, followed by Chase Edge. Third spot going to Dana Island, and now it's Reese in fourth. Chad Wallace in fifth. Whoa, watch out. Marty Lunsford spins it out just as we had three cars, three wide, side by side. It was Reese Wallace and the 19 of Walters. And watch out. Green flag still on the speedways. We've got one spun around. Leading the way will be Craig.
Craig Grice, or that is Craig Scott, Craig Scott, and the Flying Eye, followed by the 18 of Edge. The K-9 is Dana Island. Down into one and two with one lap. It looks like Dana Island still sitting in third. Going backwards is Reese. Following him is the 34 of Chad Wallace. Chad trying to get around the rolling roadblock of Reese. Now down into turns one and two, it looks like the flying eye is now pulling away his car three wheeling down the back stretch. Craig Scott leads the way at the stripe, followed by the Dana Island car and Chase Edge in the 18. That's your top three. Oh, and the old man's garage car can feel the bumper from Chad Wallace, and he can hear the 604 crate motor under the hood of Chad Wallace as Chad sticks a bumper to the inside. The 74 machine holds on to his spot. Craig Reese continuing in the top five. Four and the P19. Chad Wallace and Paul Walters doing a dance in turn three and four, trying to catch up to and pass the number 74 old man's garage car. Nine laps in, soon to be 10, soon to be halfway in and halfway done. This time it's Cord Dodgen who spins out. Oh, Marty, we to have in the gang for being here with us here at Penton Raceway. I'm Clint Stanton, your announcer tonight. Of course, we'll all be back with Roby Helms, and I believe we're also going to have Rick Eshelman on the 20th of May. We'll all be back right here at Penton Raceway. Of course, cameraman will be back here too. He's Edge in second spot. Dana Island sitting in third. Catching it all on video, Webb Dillard on the camera. Green flag in the air. That's Kenny Wallace telling him to go racing. Here we go. It's the Cameron Kitchen GRT chassis car first into turns one and two. Mitchum and Lunsford doing battle in turn two. That spins Lunsford out. It's caution on the speedway once again, this time for Lunsford. He and Taylor Mitchum were doing battle as they entered turns Cars. one and ten laps. Still two young guns in the back, Cord Dodgen and Taylor Mitchum. And up in front, a couple of young guns and the KG veteran. It's Craig Scott, Chase Edge, Dana Island on the gas. Everybody straight and true, and it turns one and two. It looks like Chad Wallace trying to make the move this time on Reese. Chad Wallace contacts the inside of Reese's 74 car, hits the binders, loses the spot. And so Reese will continue in fourth spot. Wallace in the top five. Paul Walters knocking on the door of that top five as Dodgen almost spins his 18D out in turn four. Back up to the front where the Cameron's Kitchen's flying eye car leads the way, 12 laps in. And now 13 in and seven to go. So far, Craig Scott has led the way in qualifying. He led the way in his heat race, and now he's leading the way in the feature. Craig Scott rounding turns three and four to the line. Scott down the back stretch, followed by Edge and then Dana Island, and you can see Scott beginning to pull away from Chase Edge and Dana Island. 15 in and a five lap warning. It's all Craig Scott. Chase Edge spinning the tires as he exits turn two, loses a little momentum. That allows Dana Island to catch up this time in turns three and four. Dana looks to the low side in the Andy's Auto Parts K9, takes a peek, can't get it done. Now we go back to the national number 74 car of Reese. Reese sitting in fourth spot. He's watching those top three runners getting smaller and smaller in the front windscreen as Dana Island and caution, caution on the speedway. 17 in coming up on our final three laps and it's caution once again. And the 96 of Marty Lunsford. Marty Lunsford spins it out on the front straightaway. Everybody's able to get around him. Six laps out of 20 to run. Craig Scott, the man to beat in the flying I zero car. Last week's winner, Chase Edge, trying to catch that driver. Dana Island, the old man of the bunch. He's got 300 feet. Catching it all on video, Webb Dillard on the camera. Green flag in the air. That's Kenny Wallace telling him to go racing. Here we go. It's the Cameron Kitchen GRT chassis car first into turns one and two. 
Mitchum and Lunsford doing battle in turn two. That spins Lunsford out. It's caution on the speedway once again, this time for Lunsford. He and Taylor Mitchum were doing battle as they entered turns one and two, and Lunsford spinning it out. I believe that may be his third spin of the night, third spin of the event. And our race receivers talking to the drivers, telling them where to go and what to do. Marty Lunsford, a brand new driver, and he looks like he's still got a little bit of learning to do. Got a lot of power under the hood. Every time that driver hits the gas, the wheels spin, and it looks like that driver did spin as well. Three spins and you're out here at Penton Raceway. Now it's down to these cars, 10 laps. Still two young guns in the back, Cord Dodgen and Taylor Mitchum. And up in front, a couple of young guns and the KG veteran. It's Craig Scott, Chase Edge, Dana Island on the gas. Everybody straight and true, and it turns one and two. It looks like Chad Wallace trying to make the move this time on Reese. Chad Wallace contacts the inside of Reese's 74 car, hits the binders, loses the spot. Exit turn two. Here we come to the stripe. One more time, it'll be a white flag next trip around. Trying to catch up to our top runners is Reese. Doing an excellent job here at Penton Raceway, but trying to get into the top three, and he's only got one more to go. It's a long way to go and a short time to get there for the old man's garage number 74, because here come your top runners. It looks like it's gonna be one, two, and three. Your top finishers here at Penton Raceway, Craig Scott, Chase Edge, and Dana Island. Also top honors going to the 74 machine. That's Craig Reese. Then the 34, Chad Wall. Time to put the focus back on local tracks once again here at oldmansgarage.com. Talking with a winner here at Penton Raceway on a Friday night, Craig Scott. Craig Scott, you made it look good. You came home with the fastest qualifying time. You took a win in your heat race and you showed him the taillights all the way to the finish. Who do you want to thank for getting into uh, victory lane again? More more, most important, my Heavenly Father, uh, Jesus Christ, but uh, all the sponsors, uh, STOs, uh, Tire Zone, Racing Zone, Cameron's Kitchen, Base Fuels, uh, without these guys, that all know this would be possible, uh, especially this time of day of crisis, you know, economy we're in today, but uh, I just like to thank Penton Raceway for putting on a good show. The racetrack was excellent, and just allowing us, giving us a facility to race at. You're going to be coming back on Friday nights here at Penton Raceway throughout 2011? Most definitely. We're going to try to uh, get out here just as much as we can. Positively. That's Craig Scott, your winner tonight, Penton Raceway in Penton, Alabama. Back down at Penton Raceway, this time in the infield with our second place finisher, Chase Edge. Chase, you took home a win last Friday night. This, uh, this time on a Friday night at Penton Raceway, you saw some taillights. You're still in second spot, though. You're racing all over the southeast. Tell me what it feels like to come back home to Penton Raceway. It feels real good. I'm glad to be home because going off on them long trips, you kind of get homesick from it all. And it's fun to come back and race on a track you actually know a little bit instead of all off somewhere else. Now, does it have, when you come back home, is it easier than it used to be? Uh, yeah, going to different tracks helps a little bit to get a lot faster on the track you've already been at and helps you learn how to drive on the different conditions when it gets slick and when it's tacky and just different. Now, when Craig Scott comes back, he says he's coming back. What are you going to do to get in front of that guy? Probably put a little more gear in the car and come off the corner because it wasn't coming off the corner near good enough as his was. What's next for Chase Edge? Where are you going next? Uh, I'm going to Sonoma tomorrow night, try it out down there for our Neesmith race. Gets up there May the 21st, I think, is when it is. Go up there and race. All right. Our second place finisher tonight at Penton Raceway, Chase Edge. He's your Neesmith East Region Champion from 2010. Second place tonight here at Penton Raceway. Back with the winners once again on a Friday night in Penton Raceway. Here with Dana Island. Dana, I understand you've got over 300 feature wins, so getting third place tonight, that don't feel too bad. Oh, no, that ain't bad. I can, I can handle third as long as I'm trying to pass the second place car. <laughs> now, you've been out here. How many years have you been racing in stock cars? Woo, a long time. How old are you? Uh, well, 42. Well, I started racing about uh, four years after you were born. Wow. So now when you see these young guys get in these cars, they weren't even born when you were halfway through your racing career. You, you're watching them getting faster and faster, but you're staying right there with them. What do you do? Who do you have to thank for keeping you up in the front? We just, me and Mike and Greg, just stay on it pretty hard, stay at it, working on it pretty hard, and try to keep up with the changes. 
Well, that's exactly right. These young guys get faster and faster every year, but you're sticking with them. Dana Island in the K-9 car here at Penton, Alabama on a Friday night. And so congratulations to Craig Scott, Chase Edge, and Dana Island for picking up top honors tonight. Of course, congratulations to all of our runners from a Friday night of action here at Penton Raceway. Every Friday night, then May 20th, we'll be back with the Neesmith Series racing right here just north of Lafette, Alabama. We want to thank you so much for watching on oldmansgarage.com. Of course, you can check us out on YouTube. Of course, join us at the racetrack and be part of it. For Webb Dillard, I'm Clint Stanton. Penton Raceway welcomes you back every Friday night.